Hulk Smash. Hey guys, me host Super Zoro. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! Now you saw me pick these up a while ago, and I finally got all four in the collection. I don't believe there's five. I know these are the follow-on from the Guardians of the Galaxy series that were based on the Disney XD show. Now this is based on the Disney XD show Earth's Mightiest Heroes, I believe, or Marvel Avengers, whatever it's calling itself nowadays. Um, in the Guardians of the Galaxy set, there was five to collect, because we had Rocket. Um, in this series, we don't have like a smaller version of a character or anything. There is Thor on the, on the uh, artwork, but on the back of the box, you can you know, there's only three others to collect. So... I don't know. I think there may be a chase figure out there somewhere, but who knows. Hopefully I can get my hands on that at some point if they do release one. But in this series, we are looking at the Disney XD Marvel Avengers. We have Captain America, Steve Rogers, Bruce Banner, The Hulk, Natasha Romanoff, Black Widow, and Tony Stark himself, Iron Man. So let's start with Hulk. Hulk smash. Hulk smash packaging. Hulk smash rip packaging. No Hulk smash. Yeah. <laughs> Hulk can't get into package. <laughs> There we go. Uh, so unlike the Guardians of the Galaxy set, not many of these figures come with accessories. Hulk obviously I wasn't expecting him to come with anything, because he doesn't, but the other figures I would have thought would have come with something. I know Natasha Romanoff has the sticks, and Cap Captain America has the shield, but Iron Man could have come with something. Now these are identical in every way to the Mar to the uh, Guardian series that I, that I did a review on a while ago. So we can move the head, there is a head rotation there. Moves it from left to right, it is incredibly stiff. The arms have an upward motion actually on this figure. <coughs> that could just be on this one because it's the Hulk, you know, Hulk smash and all that. So we have, ooh, this has actually got more articulation. Um, so we have the arm rotation which goes up and out. And then we have the elbow hinge slightly. Uh, no hand hinge though. And the legs are just kind of static. With no foot joint. That's a nice Hulk. It's probably the nicest Hulk figure I've seen. Now these are all designed by Hasbro. Now one thing I didn't look into. Because um, I haven't... I, I've kind of watched the TV shows. But at the same time, I kind of haven't. So, I do... Does Disney consider it canon? Is it meant to be part of the cinematic universe? Or is this its own... Or is this like a TV... Its own thing? Because I'm really surprised we've not had any... Team-ups yet. Between Guardians and the Avengers. Or maybe we haven't, I just haven't seen them. Okay, let's take out Natasha Romanoff. <coughs> okay, so here's Natasha Romanoff. There's the face sculpt. Now, I remember saying on my video for the haul that I wasn't the best fond of this face sculpt. I think they could have done better. She has the arm rotation very similar to the Hulk. She can lift her arms up as well as out. And she has an elbow hinge, no hand hinge, and the legs are static. But she can move her legs out, interestingly. Okay, and then we have the batons as well for this character. So let's give her the batons. Nice. Awesome, she's ready to defend Earth now. Stand her there outside the Hulk. Let's move on to Iron Man. Iron Man. Uh, there we go. 
Now, so these are all designed by Hasbro. Now, I'm going to say this on my haul as well, and I'm going to say it again that I actually prefer this version of Iron Man because it looks more like the comic book and original version of Iron Man that I remember as a kid in the comics. I was quite impressed with this Iron Man. Um, does he have a head ball joint? This one has a ball joint in the head, so you can move his head up and down as well as left and right. The arms are the same as the others. They do lift up, and because these are rubber, they do actually glide over the top of the action figure quite nicely, so that you can lift his arms up quite high. So that's a nice touch. The hands do move out, similar to the other action figures in this range, and again, the legs are static in this figure too. Now he's got one hand that has got the outward stretched and the other hand looks like it can hold something but hasn't got anything to hold. And then finally the Captain. Captain America! comes with his shield obviously. One thing I noticed straight away is that he does have a point for that on the back so you can put the shield on the back of the action figure. Nice touch Hasbro. Mm. Not too fond of the head sculpt though. We've got, if you look at the face sculpt first of all, not too fond of the face and the head joint doesn't seem to sit flush to the rest of the costumes, it makes him, you can actually see the boulder underneath. Eh, you could have done something about that, Hasbro. It's a bit, look, well, that's a bit, eh. Not a fan of that, mate. <laughs> Not a fan of that, guys. But he does have the same arm rotation and hinges as the other figures. Again, with static legs. However, Cap can decide whether to, um, the shield on his, how to hold his arm here. Or, you can put the pin forward like that and you can slot it onto his back. It doesn't sit very flush to the back, so I would use, probably use that sparingly. For display, when, you look, when you're looking from the front, with that, it stuck out quite far. Eesh. So I'm probably gonna put that back, and back on his wrist. I'm going to display him light with a shield. Guys, what are your thoughts on this figure range? Which one is your favourite? Let me know in the comments down below. My personal favourites in this series, we have Iron Man and we have the Hulk. Those are the two nicest figures in this collection, in my opinion. But what are your opinions? Let me know in the comments, and I'll speak to you again soon. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Hulk, smash the subscribe button for me. Hulk, smash it. And I'll see you again soon. And thank you very much for tuning in. Bye!